Good afternoon. 안녕하세요. Um, Deputy Mayor Walcott, President Young in uh, Young, uh, Young In Kim, Dr. Cho, friends and all. It's my great pleasure to be here this afternoon uh, to join all of you uh, to recognize Asian Heritage Month and making connections, you know, amongst communities. It's uh, great to see um, many familiar faces and also some new faces uh, to some of these events. So thank you to KCC, uh, KSSC for creating this opportunity. So because um, one of the question uh, today is um, who are you? So, so I'm going to take the opportunity to share uh, with you a little bit about myself to start off. So uh, perhaps like many of you, uh, I also uh, an immigrant came to this country more than 50 years ago and uh, I'm not able to speak a word of English and, uh, and my, my parents believe it's very important for me to participate uh, in community, to volunteer like many of you doing today. So, um, uh, so I had the opportunity to also uh, learn to perform, uh, do cultural performances and gave me opportunity to practice, uh, to, um, to do different things, you know, in public spaces. The question, where are you from, can also be taken differently, especially in recent context, uh, with some of the assumption behind the person who asked that question, that perhaps you cannot be Canadian because of the way I look. And, um, uh, and, you know, which leads to the, the, the question, do you belong? So it is a simple and also complex question. So it is, um, it is um, a question of belonging and identity, issues that uh, for Canadians continue to search, to have dialogue, and is fundamentally important for a multicultural, pluralistic society like Canada. So, in 2001, following the adoption of the Canadian Senate of a motion proposed by Senator Vivian Boy, the, the first senator of Asian descent, the government of Canada declared the month of May to be the time to celebrate the culture and accomplishments of Canadians of Asian heritage. So, um, thank you to um, uh, KS, uh, KSSC uh, for creating this platform to recognize Asian Heritage Month and also opportunity to talk about issues of importance for uh, uh, Calgarians and Calgarians of Asian descent. As more people have become aware and or uh, being uh, directly impacted by the resurgence of racism and hate, uh, we now have more data and statistics uh, and to inform us that immigrants, racialized immigrants and Asian Canadians feel targeted during and since the pandemic. And it's it is especially high amongst East and Southeast Asian Canadians, including 27% of Can uh, Korean Canadians. The Vancouver Police Department reported in February 2021 a 717% increase in hate crimes toward, uh, towards Asian Canadians, compared to the same period in 2019. According to Statistic Canada, which have taken a lot more statistics uh, on the subject of discrimination, uh, inclusion and equity, and, uh, and also on the various uh, diverse groups um, uh, uh, in Canada. Police reported crime in 2021 continued to see a rise in hate crime, targeting racialized minorities, specific, specifically 16% more crime targeting the East or Southeast Asian population, uh, following large increases in 2020. The report, what we heard, 2022 roundtables on online safety also confirmed the sharp rise in anti-Asian hate and the physical, mental, emotional, psychological and social harm caused by online hate. It also acknowledged uh, the express frustration at the lack of resources and recourse available for reporting anti-Asian hate. And I know that this is one of the work that uh, KSSC has been doing is to uh, provide uh, information, support to the Korean community and also help to raise awareness about the importance of reporting hate and, and racist incidents. Findings from a study by the Asian American Foundation released just on May the 4th cited four in five Asian Americans 
don't feel uh, they truly belong in the United States, while more than half don't feel safe in public spaces, a national survey found. Such sentiments are stirred by discrimination, a continuing rise in anti-Asian hate crimes, lingering stereotypes, and a lack of representation in decision-making tables, prominent places, with many reporting they felt unsafe and did, didn't feel truly belong in places ranging from their schools and workplaces to, don't, to their own neighborhoods. 2022, uh, the act, uh, action Chinese Canadians Together, together with the Asian Canadians Together Act to End Racism Network, uh, conducted a research, a national survey, funded by Immigration uh, Refugee uh, Citizenship Canada, on the impact of racism on East and Southeast Asian Canadians, based on 513 surveys and 43 focus group interviews, uh, and showed that almost half the participants who experienced racism felt emotionally upset or haunted by the racist, uh, racism experience. And 60% of the participants tended to avoid activities, places, or types of people that would remind them of their racism experience. So, so the call of all of us to, uh, to continue to be vigilant, to foster greater understanding uh, amongst communities, to develop capacity, to address hate and racism together. It is also important to note that more and more public institutions are acknowledging racial discrimination and recognize the need to address diversity, equity, and inclusion, such as our city of Calgary, including putting resources, human and funding, to support the efforts, including the city of Calgary, and other levels of government that uh, work led by uh, the federal government's and uh, Canadian uh, anti-racism strategy and also the anti-racism uh, secretariat. Community groups such as KSSC is playing a very important role in supporting the community and provi providing professional services to the growing Korean Canadian community here in Calgary and continue to build capacity in collaboration with like-minded organizations. May is Asian Heritage Month. It was proposed and recognized in the United States in the 70s and co-founded by a, um, a congressman, uh, Norman Minata. Yeah, and um, it was because it was felt that, that there's a need to ensure that legislation passed by the government to the greatest extent possible provides for the full participation of Asian Americans and also to reflect the concerns and needs of Asian Americans and Pacific Islander communities. So Asian Heritage Month, it is a time for us to celebrate, for us to come together, to foster greater appreciation for the participation and contribution of Asian Canadians. But it is also a time to continue to raise issues of concern to our communities to, and to our country. So um, the Asian uh, uh, Heritage Foundation of Calgary, we have a vision that Alberta would strive to be a society that thrives in being inclusive and reflective of all cultures. So to me, it is about all of us working in cooperation and collaboration so that we will be better heard, have more equitable access to resources and for our community while retaining our own identities and be more effective in resolving shared issues and concerns. And uh, so I just want to uh, lastly uh, uh, congratulate and thank you uh, to the KSSC for the, oppo for the opportunity for me to join you today to bring community together uh, to create an enjoyable afternoon for you all. Hamza uh, Namida. Thank you.